<coughs> hey everyone i am Ghulam abbas i hope you guys are fine and doing great today in this video i am going to show you how to install windows application in other words windows software inside the linux it doesn't matter which version of the linux you are using whether it is the call linux itself ubuntu debian linux mint the cause of this tutorial is that most of the users who were using the windows 7 now they have switched or maybe switching to the linux version especially the linux known as the linux mint so it is actually the uh, easiest version of the linux and it is near to the windows so most of the time when a windows user switch to the linux version they are facing problem with the installing the windows application inside the linux so as you can have a look here i have already installed the linux mint inside the vmware workstation pro and i have already installed the adobe photoshop cs6 and also the google chrome the google chrome setup was the msi version and then the adobe photoshop that ends with the extension of the usual dot exe so i have also here the microsoft office which i am going to install and also for the sake of this tutorial uh, if those of you guys who want those of you guys who want uh, a little bit video i'm going to install this sublime text editor which is uh, editor for the programmers where they are writing their program so there are some prerequisites there are some requirements which we must apply or comply to download this option so first let me make it full screen for you so the very first thing you have to do click on the menu mega menu and then search here for the software manager so when you click on the software manager you will launch so search there for the vine an application that is known as vine then scroll down until you find the application known as vine stable well the truth to be said you cannot install the windows application inside the linux directly like you are doing in the windows so here you are using an application which has the capability or in other words all the requirement stuff to install the windows application inside them that software is known as vine stable so you can have a look here i have already installed that one you can simply go ahead click on install and it will be installed but there is also another method which is the terminal so here you can have a look here let me i have to bring for you the commands for the terminal that you can install it using the terminal too here you can have a look here let me make full screen first you are going to enabling the 32-bit architecture inside the linux by using this command and then the second thing you are downloading the public key by pasting this command and then third one you need to import this repository or this key inside the linux by doing this command when you do that one you can have a look here this key will be generated in the desktop of the linux and also find, uh, you need to add the wine repository by using this command and finally you have to update the version by sudo apt update and then also you have to update the wine stable if that is not the latest version and finally if you want to check that which version of the wine you are using you have to type the wine dash dash version and after that one you need to configure the wine once you enter this one the configuration window will open that uh, you are setting the Vine application based on the Windows 7, Vista, Windows Server 2008, or Windows 8.1, 10, it depends on you. Let me, I have the screenshot which I have already installed them. I have to show you them. So here you can have a look here that here I have added the 32 bit architecture and then here i added the win key and then sorry the 
wine key and then here i added that one to the repository and then the result said that it already exists exists after that one i have updated that one you can have a look at this other downloading option uh if the software is updated or not and then after after that one you can have a look here it is still downloading that one 11 percent completed so here after downloading that one you can have a look here that the progression of the installation this is the process after it is done uh, you can have a look here i have typed the wine dash dash version it is showing that it is the wine dash point 4.3 0 0.3 and then after that one once you type the wc dash config this window will open which requires you to download the Vine Mono installer. It is for those applications which uses the .NET framework, especially for Windows. That's why you need to install that one. After the installation, you can have a look here. The Vine configuration page will open. It asks you here. You can have a look here. But it is asking you on which or operating system you are going to set up the Vine configuration 7, 8, 10, or whatever version you are using. So after that one, you can have a look here that it is installed. This is how once the installation is completed, then once the installation is completed, you can have you have to import or you have to simply copy or download the software you want to use that one inside the Linux. So once you did that one. Right click on the setup of that file and then select open wine programmer with program loader. You can have a look here, the installation wizard opens. So simply click next, next. So I will also again click next and install and finish. So the software is installed that has to be sublime text you can have a look here that is installed yes it is installed it is saying that it is not the latest version you have to download the latest version of the sublime so for now i'll just cancel it so this is how you can simply install any windows application inside the linux